Oh yeah, this is a, a bit of a geeky video really and I've not prepared myself for it in any way or form but it's just a quick a quick go through a quick sort of explanation of what how and why this is you may recognize from all over social media at the moment Dale from Meguiar's it's his Jaguar S type R the 4.2 supercharged engine so they've obviously done all sorts of bodywork mods and there's, there's all sorts going on with the car I mean follow their build and have a watch through some of their YouTube videos uh, search Tom versus Dale if you haven't seen it have a catch up there's some there's some epic stuff going on I mean, it, it looks it looks fantastic it's, it's, it's great great bit of kit but why is it here why did I get involved so Swallows Racing were the guys that took on the the project for Dale mainly um, they have been the ones that have been sort of going through the game plan with them and getting loads and loads of stuff organized sorted lots of stuff done by Swallows themselves so me and Tom from Swallows have been chatting quite a bit about sorting out like a plug and play ECU for these the, the ECU that's fitted to them is a Denso unit yes we know that um, plenty of people have, have reverse engineered bits and pieces of it but it's just it's just we're just not in depth enough into the the Denso ECU. We've done lots of tunes on them, um, loads and loads of bits and pieces for smaller pulleys and all the rest of it. But by the time you start getting that little bit more serious, like IE um, injector changes, um, full supercharger changes, it ch changes the entirety of the VE. Um, the same with the the manual gearbox. It's it just becomes this next level of pain in the ass, frankly. So me and Tom have been talking about this for a little while. Let's think about having a uh, an ECU aftermarket ECU that we can literally build a plug and play package for. So we, again, we've chatted about this for a couple of years now, I suppose. Um, then eventually, this came into fruition with Dale and Maguire's. So again, me and Tom chatting about it more and more, and then all of a sudden we decided, you know what? Let's let's just do this. Let's get it resolved now. We know we could run these on, we, we use a Max ECU, uh, we absolutely love them, we're just, it's all about the Max ECU for me these days, they're just, just epic bits of kit, there's next level on. We know we can run these with the Max ECU, we've done that, no problem at all. So we know we can tune this with the Max ECU, we know we can run it, but we've got lots of stuff going on in the S-Type. Um, there's rear body control modules, front body control modules, the entirety of the instrument cluster is, is, is run by the CAN bus system. So, we initially considered running a piggyback system, which is, you know, I've, I've never been a massive fan of. Uh, it's done quite regularly, and you know, years ago I've done it myself. And it's the quick and easy way of letting the the OEM ECU handle all the CAN bus, and then we'll sort of piggyback out the injector circuits and the ignition circuits, and we'll run them from the from the aftermarket system. So that was the initial plan. You know, let, let's try and do that, and then if we get time, we'll we'll try and just integrate the whole lot into the Max ECU. So that was the plan. So we get the car down. Um, I've already um, pre-made almost six months ago, like a, an initial plug and play loom using an old ECU we had that will plug straight into the into the connector correctly. So we 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 started with that, um, and we got it all running and all the rest of it. Um, but I just was not comfortable with this whole mess amalgamation of nonsense. So I took the decision one night to just just cut it out we'll make a loom and we'll just we'll just deal with the canvas so fast forward to today um, so we've now got this fully running car all the fuel pumps are integrated within the ECU powered as they should be by the there's two fuel pumps on the car one's from a fuel fuel pump control module one from the rear body control module the instrument cluster is now working correctly um, we have actually uh, today I've picked up on um, some brake pressure um, and some uh, we, we've now found all the wheel speed sensors in the canvas so we've now started to integrate um, traction control launch control all of these things which the max ECU can do natively as well also this sort of car we we want to try and use like cruise control we want to try and integrate that so yes we've got cruise control working by the the actual steering wheel buttons as it should be just just like a standard car and um, we've even got now a, an Android radio in the vehicle where we can look up um, the the M dash the M dash is like an app which comes from Max ECU. We can load it straight on, and we can just connect straight to the M dash, so we can have various levels of limiter and 
um, various different tunes just by the flick of a switch. So, so, so we have actually now got like a fully working example. We've still got some bits and pieces we've got to finish up. Like I say, we've got to actually integrate the traction control and all those things. But we've picked up, we know where they are in the canvas. The actual ECU is reading them. It's giving us the speed output in the data log. So we're, we're really excited. We're sort of getting closer and closer to being able to send one of these straight out the door as a working example and this has been an absolute pleasure to be able to use this actual car to do it with so you know it's probably the most famous s-type bar there is on the planet i guess at the moment certainly certainly with the younger of, of you anyway um i'm going to run this up on the dyno now so you can hear this v8 screen um yeah enjoy um like i say if you're interested in this package get in touch with swallows racing i'll put the link in their description uh, link in the description of this video i'm sorry for waffling on i'm just like excited about these sorts of little projects we get in these are the things that literally keep my uh, you know uh, it's my interest it's what was what i enjoy doing so yeah anyway like and subscribe